Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle and this is Brampton Gardener. And on today's episode, we are gonna be picking some green beans, hopefully. And it seemed like it would be the perfect idea. And it worked well. I have some beans down here that I can get. The only problem is, is I have a lot of beans that are up on the top. <laughs> and I can't reach them. I can barely reach this one. Um, climbing into the bed. And it's on a hill. So it's going to be a little awkward. So I brought the grabber and my snips. And we're just going to see if we can't um, harvest some of these beans. It's very awkward because the oranges are poking in. We're going to do a little pruning on the way in. I can actually get in here without poke my eyes out. So now we're going to try to grab the ones from the top. Oh, dropping them on the hill. Yay! <laughs> you might just be grabbing, grabbing them off with this. Oh, it's working. everywhere in the garden. Everywhere. Snails are everywhere. Okay, so here is a dried one. This is what it looks like when they're dried out. So this you can. So when they're small, and I don't have any small to show you right now. When they're small, you can eat them just like a regular green bean, eat the whole thing. Once they get larger, like this, and they start to shape the beans inside, then um, you don't want to eat the outside, it's too fibrous. But you can eat the beans um, inside raw, fresh. You have to boil them for a bit. Or you can let them go on the vine like this, and you can either use these for planting next year, or eating, and these become... This is the red runner bean, and they're absolutely beautiful. Look at those. Oh my gosh. They're just absolutely beautiful beans. So that's what they look like when they're dried out. So if I wanted to store those, I would just leave them out for about, I don't know, a week or so on the counter and then put them in a jar and I could store those as dried beans. But the rest I don't think are gonna get a chance to dry out before we get a frost and I don't wanna risk losing my harvest. So I can use these fresh um, as a bean. So I'll probably be making some bean and bacon. Let's see what color these are. Oh my gosh. Wait just a second, I'm gonna open it up, slide my finger along before I re re reveal pink beans. <laughs> so these um, we can eat just like this, just boil them up. Um, there is a slight toxicity to some beans, so you just have to boil them for a few hours uh, before you eat them, I think it is. I have to look it up again. But yeah, so I can just take those, boil them for a bit, and then throw them in, make soup, make bean and bacon and some cornbread, something like that. But honestly, I mean, those are just beautiful. So that's how they look fresh. Oh, they're in this pocket. And then that's what the dried beans, when they fully dry out, they look like. And these, like you can see, like it's hard as a rock. Like I can't, I can, well, barely I can pierce the skin like that with my nail. 
So you would want to make sure they sit out for about a week and then you can't pierce it at all with your nail. Whereas these I could probably pierce right through. Yeah, they're very, very fleshy. So, oh my gosh, those are so pretty. So uh, see if I can get the rest. Now that we've got the beans picked, we are gonna go and harvest a bunch of my peppers because we might be getting a frost in the next uh, couple of days and today the weather is pretty nice out. Tomorrow it's gonna be cold and I don't wanna be out here doing it then. So let's go get some peppers. Thank you so much for watching today. It's the time of year, uh, it's kind of bittersweet. We're tearing out the garden, dumping out the pots, getting our last harvest, but we had an absolutely wonderful year. We had a great harvest on most everything. I mean, there were a few things that were kind of tricky, but uh, we've learned our lessons and we're gonna get ready for next year. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done it already. See you next time.